Hi, I'm Mariana Pegno. I'm Curator of Community Engagement here at the Tucson Museum of Art. Uh, and I'm here today with Dr. Roxana Semeniego, who is a licensed psychologist and works in the area of disability and multicultural approaches to psychology. Thanks for being with us here today. Hi, happy to be here. She is also the current president of the Southern Arizona Psychological Association. One of the missions of SAPA is to bring psychology to the community in innovative ways. SAPA has partnered with TMA to discuss the intersections of art, creativity, culture, and healing since 2017. We are standing here in front of two works, Alfred Karos, right behind me, uh, and Robert Colescott behind Roxana. And both artists display side by side in this gallery, use a bold color palette and a narrative style of painting to explore concepts of race and identity within their works. It's my pleasure to be here with Roxana to engage in a conversation about creativity and culture in the Southwest. All right, Roxana, my first question for you today is how can art uh, from artists of different cultural backgrounds perhaps help us to learn about ourselves uh, and different diverse communities throughout Tucson and perhaps broader the U.S. context? I think that art allows for a very unique opportunity for self-reflection. And when we see a representation that surprises us, and it's, if it's a person who's different from ourself, I think that allows us to explore and perhaps uncover biases or stereotypes that we may not have even known were there. Um, and I think when people from um, diverse communities can see diverse artist voices represented, that can be a really powerful tool for validating their experiences or perhaps their pain or oppression or beauty. Yeah, and for sure, I've definitely seen those experiences when working with community partners or school-age students coming through on field trips. Yes. The excitement when they see someone who looks like them or what happens when they might see a familiar image or icon or something that they really can connect to, mm -hmm. how different it is for their kind of museum-based experience. They instantaneously yes. feel way more comfortable here yes. and are excited to share their knowledge with their students. Yes, and they, students. those experiences stick with children. Yeah. So my next question for you is, how does art teach us about people who are different from us? You know, one of the basic functions of art is that it allows us to see through the artist's eyes, and we get a small window into an experience that's different from our own. And, you know, we can't argue with that experience. We have to accept that this was the artist's experience. And I think that uh, that uh, perspective can change us forever. It broadens our perspective. And I think more importantly, it allows for a development of empathy, of genuine empathy for someone else's experience, especially if they're different from ourselves. And um, I think it's through that small sharing of the experience we can build a genuine connection. So could you tell me a little bit more about this, this idea of building empathy mm -hmm. and creating empathy, and specifically, what is that difference between empathy and sympathy? Sure. Um, you know, in a really simplistic way, it's, it's actually sharing someone's experience and, and trying to understand what they're going through versus just a simple observation okay. of someone else's experience or pain. And it's, it's really empathy allows for genuine human connection. Great. And mm -hmm. so... And that's one of the things that really excites me about the museum space is that, that possibility of human connection mm -hmm. uh, and, and building that empathetic relationship rather than just kind of being a fly on the wall observer. Right, just an observer. Yeah. All right. So my last question, and, and perhaps this is a really big one, but do you think art can facilitate a larger social change? Absolutely, I think it can. I think art is the catalyst for um, difficult discussions. And I think one of the reasons that different groups of people have a hard time discussing these really important issues is because we often don't know where to begin. Yeah. And I think art provides that beginning because as we said before, uh, we learn more about our own experiences and identity. We learn about other people's experiences and identities. And that gives us a starting place to have a real conversation about our shared and our separate histories. Yeah. And I think um, it's only through these really difficult discussions can lasting social change occur yeah and I see that a lot happening in this space I feel people are the museum presents itself as a really safe space to engage in those conversations mm -hmm. right the artwork is really grounding it gives us a really specific point of access yes 
Uh, and so it's really wonderful to watch those conversations emerge and build between mm -hmm. the groups and, and with individuals. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, Roxana, for being here with me today. Thank you I so really much for having me. I really enjoyed our conversation, and I really hope it's the first of many. And I know our relationship with SAP is ongoing, so maybe we can keep peppering this in every now and then. We would love to be back anytime. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you.